Hello, you join me at one of my favourite places in the world, the Morgan factory here in rainy Mulvern. And no, this isn't a piece of corporate nonsense. I'm here because I'm a customer. I've ordered a car, which I will be paying for fully with my own money. It's gone into build and we're going to see it. And more to the point, there's a big decision to be made about it that very soon I'm going to ask you to help me with. All I've got to do now is remember which shed I go in. It could be this one. This is the production line, chassis under assembly. No evidence of robots here, just blokes building stuff. And Dan, not mine, not mine, although it could be mine, it's upside down. <laughs> this one's mine, I think. It is, and this is my mate Zog, who I've known a thousand years. A thousand. A thousand years. Yes. And um, I, I've been here, I've been looking at this thing, yes. mate. It's under it's construction. I should explain, Zog is a motoring journalist, and in another video I'll explain why he's the reason why I do the job I do. This is the new CX platform. We've driven a CX platform, and I have to say that when I got out of the car in front of various Morgan peeps, I said, this isn't the Morgan, because it felt like a car. <laughs> but I meant that as a compliment. Yeah, coming from a Morgan um, fan, you're allowed to say that. Yes, um, because it's a remarkable, remarkable platform and more legroom which you obviously need Thank lots you. of because you've yes. stuff so and then there's this engine so um <laughs> this is the business end you're putting it together for me um have you lost any bolts or anything in there uh, not yet not what yet. what stage are you at just putting the front end together basically radiator hoses electrical connections it, so how long will it be in this stage it's going to be about another half a day another half a day and then it doesn't roll on in an automated fashion, some blokes wheel it onto the next stage. Right, moving on to the next bit, Zog, come on. Ah, now this lump of wood is significant. Chassis we've just seen, bonded aluminium, very modern, going forwards into the future, this goes the other way. This, this piece of kit, every four-wheeled Morgan built since 1953 has had this shaped in here. This is sort of bonded, glued together, and that forms the shape of the wings and this gives us the chance to clear something up once and for all morgans do not have a wooden chassis you just got to imagine that if the chassis was made of wood that how much work. flex it would have it just wouldn't work it would snap in half in a minute so you have bonded aluminium chassis wooden frame over that and then the aluminium body over the wooden frame the result of which is well it's beautiful, there's a lot of work that goes oh, into that blokes with spoke shaves and chisels and it's, it's woodworking on what is still a very modern platform. And I hope that's cleared it up once and for all. Let's no longer hear that. Right, we must move on. So we've seen the wood and we've seen the metal and this is where they come together. This where, yes, they, they, they merge in marriage. They do call it the marriage, this They, uh, they do. And it's an important yes. point to make that some of the metal is very modern, the bonded aluminium chassis, actually these wings are made by something called Superform. Where they, they sort of heat it and use uh, vacuum, so it's all very yeah. modern, apparently. Right, and what do you do here? What's all this? OK, about? and now we're going to show you how to do some louvering, the old-fashioned way. So the louvers are the, the slots it's on the bonnet. Front. That's the sort of and classic that, yeah. Morgan thing. That's yeah. the view that the yeah. Morgan yes. driver loves, is the yes. long bonnet and the louvers go. Well, it doesn't take long, does it? The car is scrap. Oh, you. so... Can we do one? Of course you can. <laughs> Hold it up a bit more. Yeah, I've, I've it. got it. I've got it. It's got straight. It. So okay. the, the go days for of it. the eight year waiting list are over. Yeah, you know, right? go, yeah. get on with it. Go. And again. Is that our louver straight? Can you see that yeah. now? Yeah. See how straight it is? Expert. Ah. <laughs> Job done. Making it look easy. This is the final station on our whistle stop tour of the factory and by this stage of build you've got pretty much a whole car, you've got a body, it's painted, chassis, all you're missing now is the dark art that is trimming. And that involves the carpets, the lining of the doors, the dashboard and of course the all important chairs and it involves getting your colour right. Yeah, and it's remarkable that it's done in house. And it, it is a dark eye. It's like plastering and wiring are to me two things. That just... Two things that you should never do yourself. Yeah, trimming is the third and one. And this would be the third yeah, one. Yeah, here it is. And you've got the ladies over yonder with their little sewing machines. And it's just all so cosy and lovely. This is another whole set of craft skills going on yeah. here. And this is where you are going to come in because very shortly, very soon, my car will be arriving here at the final station in build to have its interior done. And I. I'm stuck. I can't decide what colour to go with for the interior. So for some insane reason, I've decided to leave it open to you 
to make that decision for me. <laughs> We, Zog and I, are in the design centre at Morgan with Head of Design, Jonathan. So, that's the car basically spec We come to the big question, which is interior. Yeah. At the moment, I've, we've got it shown in my first choice, which was red. Yes, we have a deep red, almost yeah. a sun-dried tomato, I think they call. And I love quilted leather. With a twin-needle stitch, matching yeah. stitch colour. We've gone for a red box weave wool carpet. Here's where I need your help because I've since then had another idea and I suddenly thought, well, that's very traditional, but do I go with blue? So this is the fine grain new blue. In and this is range. what you did the launch edition. And the launch edition plus sixes were in this. Horizontal pleats. That's what you had in the launch one? Yeah. Can we do the horizontal, what do you Just call it? Just got a few pleats. Yeah. What do you think? I, I prefer the blue to the red. I thought you would. I prefer the red. And I prefer the red, I think. See, that is a very different car. All of a sudden, that's much more in keeping because it is with the CX platform underneath. This feels like a modern car. It's a different creature. That is quite something, isn't it? Mm, but then there's the red. Mm. I'm suddenly preferring. How am I? Right. How many choices can we give drive tribers? Is it between two? Are we going to narrow it down to two? Ten. Okay, you might have your work cut out then. There might be a bigger job. That one. Just wild card number just one. Out, wild, this is the wild, it's like one of those shows with the, the, the buy houses, isn't it? Ah. Whoa! Oh, that's... With the piping. That's quite vivid. It's painful in between. It actually <laughs> hurts a bit in the transition stages. That, that, that is quite strong. That is definitely strong, isn't it? I think that would work if the car was a different colour. Do you want to show me that wild and crazy... This is, this is a really caramel tan, very European black and tan flavours. This is all right. Well, let's have a look at it cool. with that. In. That looks like a really bad sports bag. I don't know. I think I think the blue is much nicer. I think what we're going to do is continue to argue about this here indefinitely, and I'm going to break this down to four choices. Let's strike that. It's three choices. The brown. It's two choices. The blue or the red. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's it's, keep it simple. It's one choice. I'm paying for this. It's one choice. It's one choice. <laughs> I am paying for the thing and I'm prepared to throw it open. Straight up. You can decide, is it the blue with the horizontal quilting or the red with diamond quilting? And you can click the link down below to vote. We're going to drive tribe and do it there. Don't just take the mickey out of me with it. Be, choose the one you prefer. <laughs>